guys, Brad from Valley City Brewing here. Um, been some discussion on some of the boards about how to wash bottles. So I figured I'd throw out a video real quick. It's gonna be a real short video, show how I clean my bottles, clean the labels off them, and make sure everything's good. Uh, first off, whenever I'm drinking the bottles, I go ahead and I guess rinse them out. I don't wash them or anything like that. Just rinse them initially because they're going to go into OxyClean inside a cooler for about an hour um, to get the labels off anyhow. So they will be completely clean when I pull them out of here. So enjoy the video. So first off, what you want to do is get as hot of water out of your tap as possible. We'll go ahead and start filling up the cooler. And that's the OxyClean I use. Get one scoop. Put it in there. Second advantage of this, the cooler is going to be super clean when we get done with this. I've got seven bottles. What I want to do is fill them up, fill up the cooler so it's just maybe about two inches over the top of that bottle. So in this cooler, there's an edge right here. I normally just fill it up right up to that edge. It still leaves about uh, two inches of uh, space above it. But once I get this filled up that point, I'll go ahead and I'll submerge all the bottles in there, close the lid, and I'll let it sit there for about an hour. Uh, normally this hot water lasts me about four batches of bottles. So anytime I can normally get about uh, I don't know, a case or a case or so of bottles, that I'll go through and I'll just do all my bottles at once. Um, the solution stays good for all four batches. The last batch, it might be a little, you have, might have to let them soak a little bit longer for the, uh, the labels come off. But normally, you sit down, watch an hour long program, um, come back, and the labels are all floating inside the container anyhow. Alright, so we're almost up that line now. We get up that line, I just shut off the water. Grab a big spoon. Get all that oxyclean diluted in here. Doesn't feel like there's any grittiness on the bottom anymore. So then put a butter knife into the top of a bottle. Keeps your finger out of the solution. Stand the bottle up. When I push it in there, I get that bottle to sit right on the bottom while we're, we still have air in it. Kind of locks it up against the knife. I think normally inside this cooler I can fit about 12 bottles at a time. So maybe I wait until uh, I get about 48 bottles and I'll go through and do a few batches. Or it takes an evening. As you see when the labels come off though, the labels come right off. There is no work involved at all.
So the air pressure inside the bottle actually pushes the bottle on the knife and holds it up. It takes a little practice to get used to that. But it keeps your finger out of that hot water. All right, seven bottles in there. Go ahead and wait an hour and I'll be right back. It's 10.34 and we'll be back at 11.30. All right, so time's 11.33 now. And I'll go ahead and put that back on here. So let's see what's going on inside the uh, cooler. One hour later, there's a label. Okay, so let's pull these out and then we'll get them rinsed off. Two labels there. The next bottle label. Not a bit of residue left on that bottle. Next bottle, label pulled off. Woo, hot. Not a bit left on that one. Uh, nothing left on that one. Oh, here's a harder one. Peeled off with a little bit of residue left on there. Still not bad. So what we'll do with that one. Grab the scrubby. and any bit of residue on that bottle is gone. Now if there had been any residue left on there, I just go ahead and stick it back in there and leave it for another hour. Okay, next, another one. Another one. Next. Label off. A little bit of residue left on that one. Give that a just a scrub with the scrubby. Completely clean. And there's one more left in here. A little bit of residue left on that one too.
completely clean again. So that's seven bottles and I'm not sure how long. Um, no mess. Water's still hot in there. If I wanted to, I could probably still do another uh, couple batches of bottles in that. That's just about as hot as when I put it into the uh, cooler. But, like I said, it gives you a good chance to uh, get a clean cooler too. I'll just go around the edge of that, make sure there's no dirt in there. Anything below that water line is gonna be super clean. So, that's it for that. Just wanted to show you how easy it was, that clean bottle. So, so like always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.